everyone knows the name Supra. Try and think of a car from the late 90s or early 2000s that's more iconic. You can't. But while we all know the lineage of the Supra, instead, we're going to take a look at the future. This is the 2020 Toyota Supra. It's the most radically styled, quickest Supra the company has ever built. Question is, can it fill the big shoes that the Mark IV left behind? Let's find out. Let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, the Supra's interior is essentially just a Z4 in disguise. You get the same 8.8 inch infotainment screen, the same iDrive dial controller, and a lot of the same textures and materials. But once you spend some time inside, it's hard to hate. The cabin is comfortable and functional with high quality materials you expect of a $50,000 sports car. Thankfully, the Supra separates itself from the Z4 with things like 14-way electronically adjustable seats, an upgraded JBL sound system, and more leather and Alcantara. Let's be honest, the Supra is all about driving anyways. You probably won't complain about the cabin when you're tossing this car around on the track. What you get under the hood is a turbocharged 3 liter inline 6 from BMW that produces 335 horsepower and 365 pound-feet of torque. Considering this car weighs just 3,400 pounds, it feels like more than enough power. If you hit it on the straight, peak torque arrives at just 1,600 RPM, and it's routed through a ZF 8-speed automatic transmission. I know what some of you might be saying, that it's not a real Supra if it doesn't have a manual. That's wrong. The ZF 8-speed in this is awesome. It really propels the car quickly, it's quick to upshift and downshift, and on comfortable drives like this, you don't really need to play with the paddles. All that power is sent to the rear wheels, which means you can toss it around pretty easily. It's nimble on these back roads, the steering is really precise and light. If I had one complaint, it would be that the steering could be just a touch heavier. Even in sport mode, it's not super heavy. It still feels really light and really nimble. Now what really makes the Supra appealing is how comfortable it is to drive on the road. Unlike other sports cars that are a little rough over bumps like this, the Supra's 14-way adjustable seats are snug but not too snug. So on the track, they'll bolster you well, but on the road, they'll just kind of contour to your body and make it a nice drive. If I had to complain about anything, and I sort of have to, it's the steering. It's light, it's really nice, it's really light, but I would like it to be a little tighter. Even in sport mode, it's a little too soft for the track. I think it's a little sloppy. It's easy to kind of mess up. But for the road, it's nice. I think once Toyota really notches this car up with a GRMN hot version, I think the steering is the one thing that really needs to be fixed. Otherwise, this car is a ton of fun. So what we have here is no modernized classic. Sure, there are some hints of the MK4 in its DNA, but the 2020 Supra is a modern sports car from the ground up. It has everything you need, including tons of power and exceptional handling, and unrivaled style to match. Haters be damned, the 2020 Supra definitely lives up to the hype.